Wildcard Wednesday returns once again, and this time we've got some flashback players. A couple interesting names, one in particular I really like. Let's jump right in. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Robato. So, flashbacks are out. Wildcard Wednesday has returned with five new players to be released in the game today. I, in fact, they're already in the game, so we'll check them out in a little bit. Also, too, I'm going to take a look at the Super Bowl prep tokens and explain a little bit what all this is and what it means in detail. Well, as far as I understand it, and get some confirmation from the EA streets. But before we jump into all that, just wanna let you know that if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to it, you get notified anytime I'm live with brand new content right here. Also, if you like what you see, thumbs up on the video, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. It supports me in the video very, very much more than you would know. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about these flashbacks. Anybody here in particular looking to grab on the squad, Let's jump right in. All right, as per usual, we're gonna start off with some stuff that was announced on GMM just because it'll keep everybody um, informed about the latest info, right? So the competitive stuff up top, pretty much the same stuff. Don't even worry about it. I mean, you can watch these broadcasts, but they give you giveaways and I guess drops. I'm not too sure. Um, but the main updates here at the bottom, solo battles, number one, um, solo battles rewards are targeted to be released sometime today on Tuesday, or excuse me, Wednesday. Uh, the Mutt team uh, will be rewarding players based on their correct placement from 13 games only for the previous week. So if you played more than 13, um, you did it just for XP. A bug has found that it was allowing player to play multiple games in solo battles. This has been addressed. Next week's solo battle rewards will be adjusted to reward players based on 13 games played. So again, don't play more than 13 games. Uh, Team of the Week milestone rewards. Basically, if you got 68 out of 68 stars in the milestone, you are not receiving the correct reward, reward aka the, uh, I believe it was a player, random player of the week. Yeah, the Nat Team of the Week player of the week. Um, it was given out random Team of the Week cards. Um, the issue was fixed last night around 9.30 Eastern. So if you have got that done and you didn't get the right reward, or if you're about to do the rest of the stars, don't worry, you should get the reward right um, for completing all the stars. Let's jump right into the flashbacks. All right, so flashbacks are here. Here's the quarterback of the group, Derek Carr. So flashbacks are bumped up to a 94 overall. Um, we're looking at 81 speed, 94 throw power here for Carr, 93 short accuracy, mid accuracy is at 90, deeps at 89. He's a field general archetype, a little bit of speed on him. Um, I don't know why you'd use him over Rich Gannon if you're a Raiders theme teamer. I'm not too sure. Maybe you just like Derek Carr, or maybe you, I don't know if you would, I can't, like Rich Gannon's not even that expensive. So. I don't know, I don't understand it, but whatever, it is what it is for Derek Carr. Um, Raiders fans are happy they got a good backup, I guess now, I'm not too sure. I don't know, I don't know why EA does some of the things they do. Some of the cards <laughs> just doesn't make sense to me sometimes. So that's Derek Carr, he was one of the uh, players teased last night out there on the EA Twitter account. Um, the next one up will be my guy, Jason Pierre-Paul. Um, let's actually make sure we queue it up so we can get the right stats for my guy, JPP. So 94 overall, left outside linebacker, 83 speed, um, 88 block shed, 86 power move, 97 finesse move. I'll have his theme teams below, but I believe it's just Giants and Tampa Bay. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Um, 92 tackle, 87 strength, 94 play rec. Um, he's going to be nice for me. I already have his 91, I think I have on the team already. I think he's up to a 91 through standout. So his power up is very interesting because it's only available through um, the team standouts set. I don't know about Derek Carr's power up. I think that one's out in the wild too, but I could be wrong. Um, we'll check that out in game though. So JPP here getting a flashbacks card. We'll try to add him to the team today. See if we can get him on the squad. See how he's looking maybe up to 96, 97. Yannick Ngakwe, I'm pretty sure his power ups out in the wild. I'll throw all his theme teams up here as well, but I think it's just Jaguars Ravens. I think I'm miss missing somebody there. Um, 85 speed, 90 power move, 97 finesse move, 73 block shed. I don't understand. I mean, Yannick's cool, but why would I? I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me why I would use Yannick over JPP, right? I mean, JPP has a better block shed, better. I mean, he has better block shed. That's all you really need to know here for the D lineman. But Yannick's cool. You know, Jaguars theme teamers would be very happy with Yannick and Gakwe. So shouts to him. 85 speed, though, is also nice. The cards are pretty similar now that I'm looking at them and getting a better thought of it. But Yannick and Gakwe here, speed rusher right end off the, off the uh, right side there. JPP is going to be. Um, off the left side, I believe there, yeah. Brian Bulaga, 95, 94 overall, excuse me. Um, all of his blocking stats are above 90, except the run block power, ooh. 
just oof, right there, right there, right there. But he'll be chemmed up accordingly if you have him on Packers team teams, I believe uh, Chargers as well. So Bulaga is there for you if you want to add him to the squad as a right tackle. And the last one of the group, actually, LaMarcus Jordan here, free safety. Um, he gets Rams and somebody else. Or no, he doesn't. He doesn't have a power up. As you can see right there, no power up. So there won't be um, alternate theme chems for him as of right now, I believe. I'll double check and make sure he doesn't have a power up. But 92 speed, 91 man, 94 zone. Um, pretty solid. Speed's a little low, though. I think you'd like to see the speed a little bit higher than what it is. But um, coverage is there. Hit power is 92, 94 XL. Pretty solid, not bad, pretty solid. Um, probably the worst one of the bunch though. Um, I mean, the lineman is always gonna hurt people, right? It's always gonna hurt the soul. Probably the, the last two guys are probably the worst of the whole crew crew here for flashbacks. Um, let's jump in the game and see what we can do. One thing I did wanna show you guys as well, uh, Yannick Ngakwe, Brian Bulaga's power-ups are out in the wild. The other dude, LaMarcus Jordan, does not have a power-up, but JPP and Derek Carr both have power-ups. Here to right here in this set is JPP's power-up. As you can see, I've already started to work on it a little bit because I know it's a little pretty penny. But Jason Pierre-Paul set right here. If you've been collecting Team of the Week cards or if you've been going through and doing the Gap Pack method, for example, you can go ahead and probably get this done pretty cheap. Um, so that's JPP's power-up is right there. That's the only place it's available as of right now. And Derek Carr also in here, 89 overall team standout. Um, his power-up is only available there. So if you're looking for the power-up, there it is, or it's on the auction house. It's probably going to be boosted in price, obviously. Um, but I would try to see if you could potentially either make coins off this um, by selling the little set pieces if you want, or you can actually go ahead and maybe finish the set and sell the power-up. Um, as you see, some cards are up to like 20K there at the top, the 86, 88s. Um, same thing here, about like 6K. So it could be a nice little, uh, could be a nice little power up to make some coin off. Of. All right, so we're in the game now to check out the flashbacks reroll. Do not mind the coin stack. Uh, we were trying some things out and a lot of things did not come out uh, W's for us last uh, last night with Team of the Week and such. So all that being said, you come over here to the training store, there's a new reroll, 6,000 training for 89 plus overall flashbacks player. Currently right now, 6,000 training is going for about 45,000, um, maybe a little bit more, depending. If you buy 91, it's about 50K on Xbox. Uh, 91s are about, yeah, 48K on PlayStation. I'm sure those prices will go up a little bit. I'm not sure who's actually clamoring for these cards, but um, sit on this reroll though, if you get an 89, it's a big L. If you get a 90, that's a small L. You're losing about a thousand training. If you get a 94, big Ws. So there's a 90 Amos right off bat. That's 5,000 training. So that's a baby L thousand training though it's not too bad nothing that we're gonna cry about if we get an 89 though we're hurting 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 real bad yeah there's an 89 sue that's a hurt right there Six thousand training to get 89 because the 89's training value right now is about 3600 so you're basically cutting that yeah in half uh we pretty much got only one more roll here unless uh we get a little lucky here so there's one more roll let's see if we can get something really nice here jpp is the only one we need yeah, Tom Brady there. We have another attempt at a roll. Oh man, see if we can get something good here. At least 194 so we can re-roll and keep on going. Um, Nothing, 89. So we're probably, uh, we have one more roll, let's go. One last roll to save us all. Will it be the one that we need in our lives? No, it is not, it is a Sue. So I would suggest not doing this if you're targeting just 194. I don't think the math works out for you to be able to uh, you know, do some type of arbitrage or something like that. The odds are probably not in your favor. Um, if we actually go check out the 94 vets on the market. So what I'll say to last week when we had Wild Card Wednesday return, the um, the cards that came out were kind of very, very, very uh, in demand, I guess. We got uh, veterans last week. Um, this week with flashbacks, veterans were kind of pretty high up early on. Um, flashbacks looks the same. 94's market right now is about 142K. So it's kind of in lockstep with how the market is going for these cards. Um, so I wouldn't pay over 150 for anyone in particular. Um, Bulaga seems a little expensive right now, but it's a lineman type deal. Jornier is probably down there low. Derek Carr is going to be low. JPP might be a little low. Uh, Yannick is probably going to be more expensive than Bulaga as well. But just monitor that situation if you're interested in buying those cards. Um, the only way to get them is in packs or in the reroll. Okay, so. Just to check out the rest of the store before we dive into the Super Bowl content, it looks like we got new Elite Bundles here, nothing crazy. Um, Team of the Week packs also there, there's new Game Changers. Still got the Playoff pack, that refreshes in about two days. So get that handled before we get a new crop of Playoff content there. And the Training Store, nothing much has changed. I would uh, recommend right here, Rising Stars, Heavyweights. 
probably prepare for future um, weeks for player or for wildcard Wednesday players to be added to these um, and the training value on those to go up a little bit. Also right here for player of the week, I don't think the recent team of the week, the one that we just got those cards, I don't know if they're in here. I don't think so um because i tried it yesterday that was what i was trying yesterday with a lot of my training and it didn't go well i didn't get one of them so um I rolled it about 50 times <laughs> so um yeah nothing in there that you'd want for this week all right one thing too here for this reroll for the flashback player if you do need training there are good ratios out there right now to buy training for really cheap so if you do want to do the reroll i don't suggest doing it i just suggest going out and buying the card you want outright but if you do want to do it in the description down below there's going to be a link for a spreadsheet that gives you the best training ratios right now myself and my guy popular stranger shouts to my guy pop it was his sheet originally but i just jumped on to add some xbox prices but we have xbox and playstation on there sorry to all the pc people but your marketplace is completely screwed or just in another planet altogether. So um, if you guys want those best training ratios, it'll be a link in the description down below. With all that being said, the last thing I want to touch on are the Super Bowl tokens here. So if you go over the missions, NFL playoffs, Super Bowl prep week one, um, basically you have all these things that you can do to get the Super Bowl prep token, right? And the Super Bowl prep token, if you look right here, um, it says collect 12 and exchange them for an elite Super Bowl player in February. Ends 122 at 10 a.m. So that's for this week, right? So there's, there's two more days of this for this week one. There's a week two coming this Friday when we get new legends for the Super Bowl legends. And there's a week three coming the week after that, okay? So what I'm gonna show you here is the Steve Smith set that was taken away, but this is why it's important to take note of this. So the Steve Smith set right here says week one, week two, week three, you put those in and you get Steve Smith, right? So what that tells me is that if you look the first week of content we got for the playoff stuff where we got the 95 overall playoffs hero those guys aren't going in that set all right so the the first crop the first week um before the wild card weekend started that crop of players those 95s are not going in the set what that's telling me is that you're going to need abraham whatever legend this week and the legend in the third week which comes out on the 29th you're going to need those three guys for steve smith's set when he's available on 129 okay so those three guys are there for Steve Smith. That's what you need. For the Super Bowl prep tokens, though, that also tells us that we have the rest of this week. We have new refresh on Friday, which is the second week, and the 29th is the third week. So that what that's telling us is that you don't need to sweat out these little Super Bowl tokens, okay? So I know some people don't like to play head-to-head. -head. I know some people don't like to grind out a Super Bowl. All this stuff's pretty easy. The 20 challenges you can do just by playing, your grinding your level solos, done. 10 solo battles games, hella easy. All you gotta do is play solo battles, done. Doesn't even need it on the hardest difficulty if you don't like solo battles. And squads games, this one might be the most difficult one to set up, but if you have a good community of people, uh, including my Discord community, check out the description down below. There's a link to the Discord in there. You can join in there and then squad up with people and then try to get some of these uh, squad wins accomplished. But what I would suggest is getting these three done. They're easiest. 20 challenges, solo battle squad games, um, 15 head-to-head -head matches. If you like playing head-to-head, -head, by all means, do it up too. That's another good one. You can replace with squad games. But you only need three of these per the four weeks. Now, here's the thing. If you missed week one or if you didn't even care to do it week one, well, you're kind of behind, but you still have this week and the next two weeks to catch up. So it is possible, but you're going to need four of these done each of the next three weeks, including this week, next week, and the week after to get your 12 tokens. Now, at the end of the day, what is the Super Bowl prep um, going to give you the elite Super Bowl player? It could probably just be an 83 plus. <laughs> we don't know what the program is going to be for the Super Bowl. I'm doing it for content purposes to try to keep you guys um, aware of what's going on. So. I would say right now, don't stress. If you sweat out the first week and you got five of them done and you're like, oh my God, this is gonna be annoying every week. We have an extra fourth week. So four weeks in total is this NFL playoffs promo. So keep that all in mind as you go and carry on about the Super Bowl um, prep tokens here, just to show you guys how many I have. Um, I believe I have seven, I think right now. Let's see it real quick. Um, if we sort by, so yeah, there's a lot of annoying collectibles here, but if you look at the Super Bowl tokens, um, I have seven in total. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven. So I have seven in total. I'm over halfway done with two more weeks left this Friday and the Friday after just need to get three, one week two another week. And that's it. That's all I got to worry about. Maybe I'll get 15 head to head wins be between today and Friday. Who knows who's to say? Um, so that's going to be the video Super Bowl prep info. We also got flashbacks too. So keep that all in mind. Today's a nice day to grind out some wins if you want grind out some solos grind out some coin making all right appreciate y'all for stopping by as per usual we'll catch you next time peace out